Okay, let's talk about the sensory receptors. So we have the Meisner's corpuscles, Pacinian corpuscles, Merkel's disc, and Ruffini corpuscles. So th we're going to talk about it in this scene over here because I can read the you know characteristics on a piece of paper again and again, and I just won't get it. So and we're going to talk about the free nerving endings at the end a little bit. So let's start with the Meisner's corpuscles. So Meisner's helps makes me think of mice nerds, like m mice, like two mice or more that are nerds. I guess if I were to picture them ahead, I would look at these guys. And they're touching this like little leaf over here, this little uh, leaf, it's a little light. So remember that Meisner's corpuscles are involved in fine and light touch. Um, they're large myelinated, fi they're large with myelinated fibers. You can see they're like, I, I whiten them a little bit, so I remember the myelination. And they adapt quickly. Um, mice are quick. That's how I think of that. Okay. Then we go up to this guy over here. This is my favorite one. This is Pacinian corpuscles. So Pacinian corpuscles, I like to think of a passy, like a baby's passy. And this is this little, uh, little guy over here. He's not quite a baby. I'm actually, not sure what he is, but he's getting very sad because his passy is not working and it's vibrating. It's just not working. Every time he tries to get the passy, it just starts vibrating. It causes so much pressure. Helps me remember that Pacinian corpuscles are in vibration and pressure in the deep skin layers and ligaments and joints. They're myelinated, and that's why they made the passy white and they adapt quickly and this is a quick you know this guy's moving quickly next we got Merkel's discs so Merkel's discs uh, I didn't have such a great relationship with this one is for the mug the mug for Merkel and it was not so great mug Merkel if you think of something better let me know but so there again it's white for large myelinated fibers and it adapts slowly right mugs don't move very fast and this is a picture of a a Merkel's disc over here, and I put Braille on top. By the way, in Braille, this actually says is a real thing. It says Merkel's discs over here. I wrote that Merkel discs in Braille. To help us remember that Merkel disc is required, Braille requires Merkel discs because for deep static touch, like its shapes, edges, Braille, it's also involved in position, sense, and pressure. Next, we have this Rafiki. Rafiki always reminds me of Ruffini, Ruffini corpuscles, and that's involved in. Um, it's got a capsule. It's dendritic endings with caps. They have its dendritic endings with capsules. So I put a cap on top to remember the dendritic endings with the capsule. They adopt slowly. Rafini looks like he's Rafiki moves like they're moving slowly over here, and it's involved in slippage of objects along surface of skin. So you see he's dropping objects over here. Okay. Also required for pressure and sensation and joint angle change. Finally, we have over here the ner the um, free nerve endings. We have these free nerve endings up on top uh, by the superficial skin, and we see a thermometer and a knife in it. The thermometer is going to help us remember for p temperature and the knife for pain, because free nerve endings sense pain and temperature. It's located in all skin, epidermis and some viscera, and there are different types. I didn't put that in the video over here. You know, there's al a delta for that's fast myelinated fibers, uh, C for slow, unmyelinated, um, but I didn't put that there. Okay, fine. 